Welcome to Teradata Join Indexes. I'm Tom Coffin. When I was in college, I was a wrestler, wrestling for the University of Arizona and coach, Hall of Fame coach, Bill Nelson. And I did well as a freshman. I was a freshman All-American. As a sophomore, I broke my thumb in a match. They had to operate immediately. And they actually said, you're probably out for the season. You may not be wrestling again. Well, I was in my room and I had my cast and my roommates came home and they go, oh, you are so lucky. You broke your hand. I go, lucky? They go, oh, coach hired a new weightlifting coach named Bert. This guy's an animal. <laughs> People were crying. Everybody in the team actually cried. And I go, come on, guys. We're wrestlers in college. We're some of the toughest people in the world. They go, yeah, you got to go see this. And I thought, I'm going to go down and check this out. People crying. And I went down there. They put so much weight on those machines. They forced you to do so many reps. And then they made you do more. And if you made one mistake, you started over and went back to legs. And you had about five seconds to go from machine to machine. And I go, wow, I've never seen anything like that. I've been working out my whole life. I've been pushed hard my whole life. This was nothing like I'd ever seen. As I stood there, he goes, okay, you're next. And I go, oh, no, no. I had broke my arm. And my hands just got operated on. He goes, you got two legs and another arm, don't you? And I go, yeah. They pushed me so hard that I cried and called for my mommy. And I was embarrassed. I had to go back to legs a couple of times because I couldn't do what they said. Whatever they said, you did or you started a Again, and it was just as tough. It was the most mentally grueling thing I've ever experienced. And afterwards, what was so fascinating about it is, I said, oh my God, I cried and called for my mom. My friends, they're laughing at me. I go, next time I go into that place, I don't care if they stick pins in my eyes. One thing's for sure, I ain't going to be doing no crying. And the next time I was in there, that weight was back on you. Oh, <gasps> it hurts so bad. And you'd say, oh my God. <laughs> and you'd start crying again. You know what it taught me? You can't remember pain. You can say, yeah, it was bad, and I won't cry the next time. But when you feel that same pain again, it's like it's the very first time. And this went on for quite a few weeks. It was miserable. One day I heard the coach say, listen, Tom Coffing is the best wrestler I got, but he's kind of a, a baby. You push him so hard tonight that he can't even walk out of here. They pushed me for two hours, and I went through so many levels of pain that I just said, I just don't think this is worth it for me anymore. I think I'm going to have to give up my dream of wrestling. And then I thought about it. Before I went into the next workout, I said, you know what? I've noticed that every time someone on the team cries and every single person just cried like a baby. Every time they're crying, they're pushing you, they're pushing you, you go to, you just can't go anymore, and then your chin quivers. And then about three seconds later, ah, you start crying. I go, I'm going to break the mold. I won't let my chin quiver. And secondly, instead of running from these weights, I'm going to try to break these things. <laughs> <laughs> and I went in this time, and I go, you know, I'll go first. Let's get this going. And they pushed me so hard, and I tried to rip those weights out through the wall. And I'll tell you what, it hurt so bad. But every time my chin started to quiver, I would smile, and I'd keep going. All of a sudden, my teammates would go, Tommy, go! And they were just rallying around me. They go, I've never seen anybody work out like that. Did it hurt? And I go, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, but you didn't cry. I go, no, no, no. Just before I was about to cry, I smiled and I broke the chain of the chin quiver. And I attacked the weights instead of letting the pain attack me. My hand did heal. Later that year, I broke a new record. I was third in the NCAA for the University of Arizona. If you can accomplish in your mind ways to beat the system, to break the bad things that are happening, you can do anything. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm glad you're here with me. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.